All right, so I guess this would be day five, although I'm really only doing a little bit of work after work um, during the week here. But I have um, had a discussion design meeting with my wife, and we are now rethinking things. Um, we'll make the bathroom, I think, look more custom. I think she's got a good eye for that stuff. So anyway, I finished, filled in this where the toilets used to be. Had to cut that out and get that and clean that, fill that all up. So um, the plan is now to move the shower from where it would have been over here to on this side over here. And have like a pony wall coming out about two feet here and maybe four feet high and then on this end of the shower same deal pony wall coming out about four feet high and then the stool the toilet will be right there and then what that'll allow us to do is actually put in a, a vanity along this wall that'll go between the a wall that's going to be here and the pony wall down here and we can get like a six and a half foot long vanity with you know so you can have the double bowls and everything and then the pony walls will, will have glass on the from the top of the wall to the ceiling and it'll just make everything feel so much more open and then the doorway will be right here in the middle pretty much just enough to clear the vanity you know a couple inches would trim everything and then this door will be able to swing all the way open and then somewhere on this wall here we're going to put some kind of a built-in linen storage like shelf kind of cupboard so you know all the shampoos and hair products and things that get accumulated will have a nice place to put them so again there'll be a wall here pretty much in line with the old wall that will close the bathroom in and just that the doorway's more in the middle of that wall now instead of where it was over on this end. So, um, actually, initially I wasn't feeling it, but the more I think about it, the more I realize that's, that's probably the better design. I was a little worried about what, you know, as far as plumbing and everything, but honestly, it's not... It's kind of a horse apiece to where that stack is. The stack is right about underneath here. So from coming from here over or from over here over is maybe a foot shorter. And I got room underneath because I've got the ceiling below. I got a bathroom, but I have a drop ceiling down there. And then this part, it's just a storeroom. So I can run the plumbing below the joist. So should be fine. Um, just rethink all the plumbing, but plumbing, you know, just plumbing's not too hard if you just stop and think for a moment and remember how to vent and how things just need to run together. So pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about the idea of it. So, um, yeah, more, probably more money in the glass shower stuff because it'll have to be custom, but, um, it will then therefore make the bathroom look custom, which would be, which would be nice. So, all right, end of day five. I just worked for about an hour tonight, moving that old piece out of here and filling it in. And then I'm gonna put another layer of half inch on top of this. And um, I actually had a piece I was gonna use, but it's kind of damaged and I don't wanna put that down. Cause then I'll put the Ditra above that and that'll get me roughly to about the thickness of the floor I had before. So then whatever tile and stuff, it won't be too far out of whack with whatever flooring I end up putting in here in this room. This is this carpet's all coming out and going to be some kind of a, a nice hardwood. So, all right, signing off.